We magical. You know what I've never. You know what I've never understood. What's that? How the hell can he actually glide? Um. Um. I don't know. Magic. Yes, magic. That works. <laughs> Ah, uh, there's the cow and her father, who has a long name and I can't pronounce it. Packer Hamek, I think. Packer Hammond, Pac-Man, Lunch Man. <laughs> yes, Pac-Man. <laughs> I like the fact that Knuckles is just the descendant of a bunch of violent bastards who just kill everyone. That makes a lot of sense. It does, actually, yeah. <laughs> Now, in the uh, Fleetway comic, Knuckles was actually from this time, and they froze him. Um, and they, like, woke up in the present day. Yeah, that was a really confusing story. <laughs> yeah. And for those of you in the last um, part of this, we went, but who went in the level first? It's obviously, I think Knuckles goes in first, but then when he goes and sees the car, in that time frame, Sonic has gone in and come out. Because obviously, as you can see now, Sonic's right there. So we think at least that that's the end time frame. So it looks like he's playing as you know himself from this angle. Look at that. Oh Jesus! <laughs> that's just wrong. <laughs> yeah, it is. Ah, uh, this is this is one of my favourite scenes. This anything with the robotic theme just rules, in my opinion. What's <laughs> so random. Why can't why can't Eggman hear him? And why because is he moving so slow? <laughs> Magic. <laughs> Was it really needed to have you actually go into the elevator? Why couldn't other that other that had just been part of the movie? Um laziness. <laughs> Eggman, give me back the master emerald. No. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, this isn't what you're after. After <laughs> It's the Graham Road, of course, fans of Fleetway will remember that the, the Graham Road was the most powerful. It was called the Controller Emerald Road. Yeah. Which is, is never been used outside of England. Chaos. And I, I, I don't think we've actually talked about this, Tom, but in Fleetway, Chaos was actually his. He was the god of fear. Anyone who was near him would just freeze up with fear. Was he the god of fear? I don't think he was going to be, but he had some weird power that, you know, anyone who, who was near him just got scared. Yeah, wasn't he like just a regular person of the Draken Empire? Yeah, he was actually just one of those fish things, yeah. I love this, because this is Knuckles just being hardcore. Changing shape won't scare me! <laughs> Quantity. I, I said I've this before, but this is, you know, the best version of Knuckles in any game or cartoon or comic book ever. Mm. That's probably the first time you ever see Chaos try and be intimidated. Yeah, because well, I think it's it's the first time where Chaos is actually at a shape and size to actually be intimidated. Because obviously Chaos Zero is a bit weedy, you know. Yeah. Chaos One is just slightly taller, but yeah, this is the first Chaos transformation where he could pose a threat. Mm -hmm. And actually, I think I I think Chaos Two is harder than Chaos Four. Mm, yeah. No, no, not in terms of him, if the difficulty, the fact that it's, he's, he's such an awkward bitch to fight. He's like, the, he's, like the, he's like the large bodies in Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, they're just bastards to fight. A li yeah, large bodies were annoying bastards. <laughs> Especially when you're in the DM con- Ah, uh, you died on Chaos 2, you suck, Tom. Thanks, thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's like in the, um, kind of scene when you have like six big bodies at once, it's like, go away, you fat bastards. <laughs> and it's like, I felt like the, the different transformations of Chaos were, you know, I like, you know, the bubble aspect of this boss battle. I thought it was quite original. Mm. My only complaint is that I think possibly the, the amount of room you have is possibly too small. Yeah, for the size of him. Yeah, and also we know. Like, I know. Uh, obviously, they are trying to go for a compact room to fight in, but maybe it was slightly bigger. Plus, the the slightly awkward c camera doesn't really help that sometimes. Yeah. Again, we have the classic. Hit him for God's sake! What are you doing? 
There we go. And of course we have the uh, the classic chaos theme by Junction Yu. This begs the question, what was Robotnik doing up here in the first place? He's sitting down eating. Obviously. Oh yeah, but it, it, it does make a good point. Well, I imagine he, he came up here to actually give Chaos the Emerald and then they were going to leave. Although yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense. The why was Chaos here? I don't know, maybe he, he needed a place to hide. <laughs> maybe he did. But then again, he's just water. He could like hide in the swimming pool. Yeah, it's like Alex Mack. <laughs> yeah, classic show. <laughs> Back when Nickelodeon was actually good. Good! No, no, to have was crappy fart jokes every two seconds. Yes. You bastards. She <laughs> stands there. Like, like, why is she standing there? <laughs> so what if you want this time? Chaos. Chaos. He points at him for no good reason. I'll show you. My goodness is just being a hardcore mofo with this, I love it. Yep. It's about, it's about Sonic. <laughs> what about Sonic? Because he, he's a hardcore mofo, but he's still smart as a sack of hammers. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake, Knuckles, why do you believe this shit? <laughs> I know, he's just a moron. That's what I like, I like the aspect that he was so gullible. <laughs> yeah. A surprise. I <laughs> don't yeah, walk in, then really, really slow. So, like, look like at how long that goes on for. That is like five times too long. <laughs> yeah, so I like the fact that when, uh, but you know, a spoiler alert, obviously, I think, you know, but when he finds something, he doesn't ask him about it, he just starts to pummel him. <laughs> well, that's just how Knuckles rolls. I told Knuckles, I thought that was pointless. Just. A quick shot of him in the hotel, but now he's suddenly in the Mystic Ruins. Yeah, speaking of uh, the Mystic Ruins, if you've noticed by now, the temple in the flashback is the same one as the temple in the uh, jungle. Yeah. It's just like buried underground slightly. Wasn't there something shiny in the but caves? Something shiny! Yay! Oh, that's, uh, that's, that's, oh, that's terrible. <laughs> I think, think, well, I think the reason why he does just flash to the Mystic Ruins is, of course, as um, as we heard before you go into the hotel, it says, you know, that there are currently no trains running oh, at yeah. this time, so I think that is probably why, and of course, it's just the Shovel Claw. You've got the shovel claw. Now unlike, unlike a lot of the other add-ons you get, the Shadow Claw shovel claws actually made an appearance in Sonic X. Oh, yeah. I, I'd look, no, he, he not always puts them on uh, at various points. Why can't he just dig normally? Well, you can, but apparently they make you dig. But you know what's weird though? Surely if he has his big friggin' metal spikes on his hand and he punches Sonic, he'd kill him. Yeah. <laughs> but like, the, 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 the force that Knuckles punches at, surely, you know, the strength punching him, he'd break his fucking face in. Yes, but then it won't be called Sonic the Hedgehog anymore. It'd be called Knuckles the Echidna, and that doesn't really roll off the tongue, does it? Knuckles the murderer. <laughs> we. Rated did, E for everyone. <laughs> I did, did like the fact that they kept the classic 16-bit jumping sound. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, on our way to Red Mountain, I believe. Isn't that your favourite Knuckles stage? Yeah, I love Red Mountain. Indeed, so you will see what happens next time. Take that, bitch! <laughs>